Okay, so I just wanted to show you that I have actually built the LAC enclosure. So here we have the enclosure. As you can see, the four corners, like these parts here, these are all printed in uh, a grey ABS. And we have the handles here printed in a the marble look PLA, uh, which is actually really good. I still have uh, the printer. Well, the printer's on right now, actually. I was able to put it inside. I didn't do the modification to the back of it. Not yet. Maybe we'll do that in the near future. Um, I don't actually know if it needs to be done because if I open this up, we'll go inside, move that all the way back. It doesn't even touch the back anyway. So I'm, I'm not sure if there's actually a requirement to, to actually put that in or not. Um, the plastic that I got through is uh, mostly slightly too big, which is a little bit annoying. Um, if the plastic is too big, you get bulges like this, so it's like it's kind of kind of tense on that side and on and on this side as well. It's a little bit tense, uh, whereas it could have been like a nice, like easily held plastic. I do still have the power supply inside the case, and I've got like a couple of extra bits down here, like the cloths and all of that kind of fun stuff for cleaning the print bed. Um, I've not noticed any, um, I mean, I've noticed that the, the prints have been coming out a little bit more stable, I guess, because from time to time I do get a bit of a breeze going through my room. It does hold the heat in there a bit better, especially in, well, when I've got everything running, like my computers and everything like that. Um, my room does tend to get hot anyway. So this does help me keep the heat down in my room because the heat stays inside this chamber, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can feel the heat coming out of it when you open the doors and stuff. I need to glue that back. <laughs> I need to glue that door in because it nearly fell up. We have a hole drilled through the top of it here with the um, the wheel of prusament on top. Um, and that works really well. Uh, I will want to get some more of that stuff eventually because it's really good. Um, and other than that, I do need to just reinstall this light inside the enclosure um, so that I can do continuous recording again with uh, a solid good quality light but that is about it for the lack enclosure if you guys have any questions about it please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as I can um, I know it's been a bit awkward for me to uh, build this um, but it's not been that expensive actually I think I probably did this all for around about 50 quid or 50 pounds if you want to say that um, the, the the table itself was six pounds the plastic was about 32 and then some other odd bits here and there maybe even cheaper than that actually some screws I think they're like four quid um, yeah so maybe more closer to 40 pounds actually no yeah no f yeah about 45 to 50 pounds so yeah let me know in the comments section below if you have any queries about that and I will reply to that as soon as possible and I will see you in the next video.